Jesus came to earth for a purpose. For a purpose. And that is to give us eternal life and to save us all from ourselves. Not from Satan. From ourselves. I'm not going to give Satan any credit or any glory. I'm not going to put his name up there because he doesn't. He's a, he's, a, he's a minion. He's not worthy. I don't even call him an angel because he's not an angel anymore. Amen. He's not an angel. He's a minion. The, 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 the evil one has to steal, kill, and destroy. That's his main objective in your life. To steal, kill, and destroy. Do not listen to the devil's schemes and his lies. He's the father of all lies. You see, he's a cunning adversary. He mixes the lies with the truth. Amen. And he's roaming rampant in this world right now. Scripture says the devil is a, like a roaring lion. Not a roaring lion. He's like a roaring lion. Because the only roaring lion I know is the lion from the tribe of Judah. Jesus. Jesus. Scripture says he roams around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Do not let him devour you today. Study Scripture. Study Gospel. And come to Jesus. Come to Jesus because our time here on this planet is not guaranteed. Some people are going to go to sleep tonight and not wake up in the morning. Don't die in your sin. Don't die without Jesus living within. Let Jesus set you free. You open your eyes. You'll be able to see. No more will walking in darkness. No more will walking in despair. You will always know that Jesus was and is there. He'll be with you through thick and thin. The Holy Spirit will live within. He'll snatch you from that evil grasp for Satan. He'll open your eyes and show you the mistakes you can make it. Come to Jesus today. Because he's the only one. I said he's the only one. I said he's the only one that can make a way for you when there seems to be no way. Am I right about it? Yeah. He's the light of the world. You know, Scripture says, Why is the road to eternal damnation, but narrow is the gate to everlasting life? Narrow is the gate to heaven. Scripture says, It is easier for a pin to go through the, through the eye of a camel than to come to Jesus. You have to relinquish everything you have. Give up everything you have. Because actually you're not going to need it. You're not going to need it. When Jesus comes, why do you need these material things in this world? Let me tell you something. Your power is temporary. Your life is temporary. Your husband, your wife is temporary. Your bank account is temporary. But Jesus is permanent. Hallelujah. And he's going to be waiting for you on judgment day. And what you want to hear when Jesus comes. Oh, I can't wait to see my Lord and Savior Jesus face to face. So I can give him a warm embrace. And he takes me with him to that heavenly place. What he's going to say to you if you don't know him is... Depart from me. I never knew you. You wizard of iniquity. Believe me, you don't want to hear those words. That's going to be the worst day of your life. Because you already know that you have, you are going to the lake of fire with Satan and his minions. And God will turn his head away from you and he will point to the lake of fire. And you will be separated from God. Let me tell you the story of the rich man and Lazarus. The rich man and Lazarus. This rich man had everything in the world. Everything he needed. He was a filthy rich. Like many of the people in the world today right now. Filthy rich. Not caring about anything in the world except themselves. Really? 
اللہ سے ایک وہ بولتا ہے کہ تو ایک فور اکرام آن اٹائیڈ ہے ہی وہ ہم گئے ہی نہیں کہ وہاں سے ایم پر تو اس مین اگنور ہے اور ہی ایک فور آن اس لئے ایمن ایک دور کو سلکنگ اپ سور کو آفر ہی آن اس لئے تو بس پر سے ہم دائیں تو اس مین میں کہہی رہی And Lazarus was carried by the angels with Abraham's brother and the rich man being in torment. Said to Abraham, Abraham, send down Lazarus with a drop of water for my tongue is in torment and is on fire. Amen. But Abraham said, there was a great chasm. Remember what you did in your days when you were alive. And he said, there was a great chasm between you and us. In other words, he was separated from God. And this day is to show you that there is no death. There is only eternal death. Because we serve an eternal God who gives us eternal life. But if you reject Jesus, you reject your own salvation. If you reject Jesus, you reject your own life. If you reject Jesus, you reject your own freedom. Because He's going to go over there and thank them. Am I right about it? Yeah. So this day is this uh, parable about the good man and Lazarus was given to us on purpose to let everybody know that, hey, you choose Jesus, you're going to have eternal life. But if you don't choose Jesus, you're going to have eternal damnation. And yes, you're going to still be alive and still feeling every pain that Satan is going to bring you. Amen. He wants you to suffer. He knows his time is short and he wants you to join him. He wants you to join him in the abyss. He doesn't want to be lonely. And don't believe it's the height about how Satan can take your soul. That's all nonsense. That's another one of the devil's lies, the father of all lies. For God said, All souls belong to me, saith the Lord. From dust you came, to dust you shall return. How can Satan take something that belongs to God? Come on, really? Are you that naive? Is, there, is it that easy to fool you? Then no wonder you're walking in the darkness. Amen. You better get on that Bible. Open your Bible and do it. Open your Bible and pray. Open your Bible and pray. Open your Bible and pray. Open it. Open it. <laughs> I kill me. Anyway, this is the ever loving and the everlasting gospel that needs to be preached throughout all the nations. Throughout all the nations. Amen. Scripture says. Take no heed and do not listen to any false doctrine. And anybody that preaches the wrong gospel shall be an anathema. I see you over there scratching your head. What is that? What is anathema? Anathema is cursed. If you preach the wrong gospel, if you're preaching the wrong God doctrine, like most of the pastors in this world are doing right now, go on YouTube. Amen. You will be cursed. You are a curse. Amen. Amen. He made him to be saved. Who knew no sin. So, so that we might have the righteousness of God in him. In him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. This is why you need to come to Jesus. So that you can have eternal life with Christ Jesus. Do you know what Jesus said about your sin? Do you know what Jesus said about your sin? He said, I will take your sins and cast them to the depths of the sea. 
and I will remember them no more.